Ragged Angler's All. I'm going to tie another pattern by a gentleman. His name is Tracy Peterson. Um, we tied his uh, famous Batwing Emerger last time. This fly is called the Skinny Nelson. It was originally designed up on the Bighorn River during some really low water years. The original pattern did not have a bead on it and then um, later added that as flows came up and he moved out uh, to the northwest and fishing bigger rivers. So this fly is a pattern that will work in a lot of different um, spots for you. It's a great little betis nymph pattern but it would also work as a little midge as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm starting with uh, a hook 3761 Today we'll do an 18. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some uh, Dansville 6 odd thread, tail of pheasant tail. The body is going to be the thread and a little bit of gold wire in uh, extra small. Then I'm going to tie in a wing case of uh, partridge, or I'm sorry, uh, peacock curl, and um, using a new pattern or new material called crinkle mirror that we've just got in in a pearl uh, for the flash. So I'm going to start my thread at about three quarters point on the hook. Just make a thread base to where your thread is just hanging right above the barb of the hook. Do one more wrap there. I'm going to grab about so oh, maybe five, six pieces of uh, this pheasant tail. There's uh, six right there. And I'm basically just going to hold them perpendicular to the stem, strip that off. That way my tips are all even. And the tail should be about at least half the length of the body. A little soft wrap, make sure that's in position I want it. Got one little piece there that's a little shorter. Let's see if I can capture that. I think that'll be okay. Look real buggy. Let's bring that right up to my tie in point. At this point, I'm going to tie in my extra small gold wire. I'm just going to lay that right in front of the thread, underneath the hook, make a couple wraps. It's in place. Then I can uh, do touch wraps all the way back to the tail. My thread, or if your thread gets a little wound up, just counter spin it. Your bobbin, as you're looking down, just counter spin it. It'll flatten that thread out. I'm just going to bring this straight back up to the tie-in point. Then this fly has a little bit more ribbing than what you've seen on previous flies, but I'm just going to fill in this piece with just little spaces in between each wrap. So there's probably eight, nine wraps there. Break that off. Then I'm going to tie in the flash for the wing case. Basically, I got one piece of this mirror crinkle, and I'm going to just wrap that around my thread, get the pieces even. Then I can just draw this right on top of the hook, place that right where I want it, come back about uh, a quarter of the way back, 40% of this thorax and then at this point I'm just going to kind of build in with my thread into this thorax area mostly up by the bead <clears throat> then I'm going to go to the eye of the peacock and I'm going to grab I don't know maybe six, seven pieces of this. Cut that off. 
come to the tips, even those up. And I can just lay that right on top of the hook. I don't have to be too crazy about where I place it. Do a little pinch wrap, pull it out of the way. Come back to the base, then back forward to the head. Then I'm going to wrap this forward. Take about three, four wraps. Right behind the bead, I really like to make sure this is nice and full of material. And at this point, I'm just going to bring this flash forward. Tie that off. And if I hadn't really filled up the back of that bead with a lot of peacock curl, I would have a big gap here. So that, that's primarily why I did that. Pull this back, tie it in with a couple wraps. And then I'm ready to whip finish. Make sure that's nice and tight. Turn my thread away. Snip this off. And that is our little skinny Nelson. Uh, got one little piece of peacock curl that broke off, but that's trapped in there with all the others, and that should not come apart. And uh, there we go. Great little dropper fly as it is. Um, go give that a try. Skinny Nelson. Thanks for watching today.